Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Finally, I'm going to share about my spice boxes. I know I should have uh, shared about them last month, but with my book launch, I couldn't do it. Uh, better late than never. So today let's talk about the spice boxes. What exactly is a spice box and what I store in them and where I store them in my kitchen. All those nitty gritty details. So without any delay, let's begin. Here are my two spice boxes. Uh, before getting into the spice details, let's see what a spice box is. Uh, it is popularly known as masala dabba and in Tamil we call this as anjare petti. I have a stainless steel one uh, but you can find Tupperware and wooden ones in the market. A spice box is a partition container or a container that contains uh, small units like this where we can store spices and spice powders. Here is mine. I have a stainless steel one and my spice box contains seven small containers like this and uh, this is how I arrange them. I personally like the stainless steel ones. The maintenance is super easy. Uh, the spice box usually comes with a small spoon like this. Uh, either you can use this or use a teaspoon or half teaspoon that makes it easy for measuring. Uh, also I forgot to mention I got these boxes from India but you can find them online as well. I'll share the links in the description box. Uh, the spice box uh, comes with a lid as well. You can uh, close it pretty tightly. Uh, basically you store the spices and condiments that you use regularly while cooking in these boxes. There are no set spices or powders to store you know. Uh, it's completely a personal preference. As you can see in one box I have all the tempering spices and in the other one I have all the spices that I use for kurma or biryani. Now let me explain these spices in detail. Here is my first spice box and I have all the tempering spices in this box. Here I have uh, mustard seeds and the urad dal, the whole urad dal, the white ones. Uh, and then the chana dal, uh, kadalai parupu. And then the fenugreek seeds, uh, vendiyam. And then I have uh, black pepper, uh, cumin seeds. And then turmeric. Uh, I use a lot of turmeric in my cooking so I always have it handy in the spice box. Uh, I personally don't store um, you know spice powders like sambar powder, rasam powder, coriander powder here. I just store the tempering spices. I use mustard seeds, urad dal and chana dal for tempering dry curries, scooter varieties uh, and for dal I use mustard seeds and cumin seeds. Also I use cumin seeds and peppercorns for kutu masala. Uh, I use mustard seeds and fenugreek seeds for kurambu varieties. While cooking I just take this uh, dabba out and keep it handy and use the spices as required. I don't store any spice powders like sambar powder, coriander powder or red chilli powder. It's just my uh, personal preference. Here is my second spice box and I have all the spices required for making kurma and biryani here. Uh, I use some of these spices for my tea as well. Here I have uh, green fennel uh, seeds, the sombu. I use it for my tea and here I have uh, jadi patri or mace. We use this for biryani and I have uh, green cardamom pots. I use it for kurma biryani and also for my tea. And here I have uh, cloves and then uh, star anise and cinnamon. Uh, I just broke them into small pieces. This one is the black stone flower powder or the dagat full powder. In Tamil we call this as kalpasi. I couldn't find the dried flowers this time so bought the powder and that's what I have it here. I love the flavor of this kalpasi. I usually add about quarter to half teaspoon of this powder to my kurma or biryani. And this is what I have in my spice box folks. It really comes in handy and you don't need to open 10 different bottles while cooking. I've kept my uh, spice boxes in one of the kitchen cabinets. Uh, this cabinet is actually on the left hand side of my stout top and this is the very first shelf. And I have kept a divider so that I can keep both my spice boxes like this. Uh, I got this divider from Bed Bath & Beyond but you can find them online as well. Uh, the key thing is here folks, as we use the spice boxes regularly, make sure you are keeping it in a convenient and handy location. 
also uh, as you can see i keep all my pressure cooker weights on the uh, side of the shelf like this uh, yeah i know i have a lot of pressure cooker weights and this is where i store them thank you for watching this video folks hope you all liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to check out my cookbooks as well uh, the digital version of the south indian cookbook is now available i'll uh, leave the link in the description box so please check it out and i'll see you all soon with a new video thank you